Hey everyone, this is Deathclock1637 here with a tutorial on how to set up Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction to get you started on speedrunning with your timer and everything else. So here we have the kind of final state that you want your game timer and Diablo interface in. Uh, the things we're going to focus on most for the first part of the video are the game and this program called Live Split. So what you're going to see out of the box for live split is a very simple interface, but we'll get to that in a second. So priority number one for you is download D2 LOD. Make sure it's version 1.14D as is here. Um, install it and everything. Make sure it runs. And then step number two will be to go to livesplit.org. Hit downloads, get the latest version, save that to your desktop. It'll be in a zip file, so extract it wherever you uh, feel is most convenient. And then run that program. Uh, just note that you may have to run this and Diablo Fit interface in the future as administrator because sometimes it gets a little wonky that way. So concentrating on live split. This is uh, some splits I've configured myself, but I'm going to close them. And like I said, it just shows up as a normal timer. Uh, what you'll want to do is right click and go to edit splits and you'll have this interface and this is where you can enter everything like your game title. Uh, we're just going on the main D2 Lord of Destruction and specify your category as any percent. Uh, we're going to keep it simple which is what my splits were as any percent normal uh, players one. And uh, this load removal thing you will want to activate. So uh, you may be asking, why do I want to activate that? <laughs> uh, there's a simple reason for that. So the way Diablo 2 speedruns are timed are there's two methods. First of the first method is this one up here uh, that I've labeled IGT, which means in-game time, uh, which basically means that all the time you spend playing the game is tracked, but all of the time that you spend in a loading screen or a loading state is excluded. And how does it exclude that? Essentially, when you enter those load states, the timer just pauses. It's not doing anything fancy later to take the time out, but you will start to see a difference between this in-game time without loads and this real-time tracker, which is just always counting until you finish. So normally what you would have to do is um, go into your settings, make sure your uh, keys are set and start this timer yourself. And this is, like I said, going with the bare bones setup. So when you get into the game, right when it loads in, you have to press your hot key and the timer would start. So if all you're looking for is to set up the game and the timer just to get a feel for how everything works, this is all you need to watch and uh, good luck to you. But <laughs> um, what we're gonna do now is get into a little more advanced setup. So like I said, we're gonna just triple check that in our layout, everything's correct. We have all our timers. We're gonna check our splits and ensure, like I said, that this is activated. If it says deactivate, that means it's active. You don't need to worry about the settings or the website. So the next thing you'll want to do, and I'll leave links in the description of exactly where to go, is head over to this GitHub page and download the latest version of Diablo Interface. Um, at the time of this recording, the latest version is 21.6.16, and this is the latest version of Live Split that I showed earlier. Um, what you can do with Diablo Interface is uh, much in the same way as we right-clicked here. You do the same thing on Diablo Interface to bring up this uh, configuration screen. So we're going to be focusing on a few of the major tabs here. So we're going to be in Layout, Auto Split, HTTP Client, and Pipe Server. I think you do need the uh, service enabled in here, but I will double check that. Um, so just for now, we're going to go through all the checkboxes here. So this is all of the information that you may or may not want to display. Um, just a couple of ones to call out is uh, the games launched. So this is the little runs thing. So all of that 
all that really does is count how many times you saved and quit. Um, that's not really useful for speedrunning because generally you don't need to know how many runs you've done. Uh, but when it comes to things like um, a Holy Grail or something, you may want to know how many times you've gone to Lord Karast or you've run the Chaos Sanctuary. So that's useful for that. Uh, so just keeping in mind that this is not super necessary. Um, neither is really Magic Find as well. Generally, um, that's more of a display thing if you're doing a Grail Sorceress or a Grail anything. You just want to show your stream how much MF you have. That's all cool. Anytime you change something, you have to hit save. If for some reason you want to show uh, the current seed that you're running, you can click this and show the seed. And it will tell you exactly what maps you have. You can even have the option uh, just to save this and quit out for a second. You can even copy current seed if you want to practice your own set of maps and get used to it. Uh, so what that will do is copy a number and you can save it to Notepad. But I'm not going to go too much further into that at all. So I'm going to go back to the configuration screen, um, unticked seed, save, and we're going to go on. So uh, runes you don't have to worry about very much at all. Um, basically it allows you to track what kind of runes you want and it'll display them in here. Uh, I don't see a lot of speedrunners use that because uh, the runes you need vary from class to class and it can get really iffy on the RNG. So that's not something we generally look at. Uh, next major tab we want to go to is auto split. So usually what you'll want to do is have these match and uh, to call something out immediately game start is not on here obviously this is just the same as if you were to load into the game and press your start key for the timer that's the event that would be triggered but you do need it here if you have the auto splits enabled um, just adding the splits will do an automatic set of splits which are these it'll have the game start event and go through the bosses I stopped at normal, but it will continue into Nightmare and Hell if you want to go through there. You will need this ticked, and you will need this uh, split key to match whatever hotkey you set to start your splits for live split. And just, again, to call out that they do, in fact, need to match one-to-one. -one. Um, you don't need to split for existing characters, which means that if you created a character already, this thing is just going to continue um, regardless of what you do uh, when you save and quit. So have that unticked. What I did notice is that it gets a little wonky if you configure the reset key. Um, I found that it gets a little odd, in, like it may not activate all the time. So generally, again, tick this box, make sure this split key matches your hotkey for live split, which would be set in the settings, as we're just going to see here. So you numpad one, and then you would save. Um, these are some just default events, but I'm just going to add another one to show you what other things you can track. Um, if you feel like you're taking a little too much time in act one uh, or something, then you can say, okay, I want to know how much time it took me to get to level 15. And you can track that and add it to your splits. Um, just know that these are events and it's going to skip down them whenever they're triggered. If you do something out of order, like let's say you get, you know, level 15 before you kill Andariel and the uh, level 15 split is below it, it's just going to go and it's not going to really count correctly. So just make sure the sequence is right and that you're doing everything in the order that you set out here. Uh, same thing if you're in Nightmare and you happen to have, you know, a level 20 split before Duriel and, you know, you end up killing him at level 19. Well, that's going to be out of order because the Duriel split would have gone first and so on and so forth. So like I said, just try to keep them consistent. Um, the next tab we will want to do, and I'm just going to drag this off screen for a second so I don't expose any information. You know what, I'm just going to close that for now. So we have our Diablo interface. We have our live split. 
So what do you do next? Essentially, you go to Diablo.run, as you can see here, uh, and you log in with Twitch. So once you do, uh, you're going to get into the website, and it's going to present you with some information. Now, it'll also have instructions on what you need to do, but I'm going to show you the Diablo uh, interface screen that all of that corresponds to. So essentially, you want to go into Configure, and I'm just going to clear out uh, my specific key for now, clear out that information. Okay. So we've gone uh, from auto split and now we're in the HTTP client. Click enable here. Uh, I clicked enable here just to make sure that everything is working. Uh, that does seem to be important, honestly. But anyway, once you're in Diablo.run, it'll give you instructions with your with a URL for syncing everything and your own personal uh, header key that will go in here. So I've taken out mine just to kind of show you what you'll be met with uh, after you log into Diablo.run. So be sure that you've pasted everything in here properly. You click save. Um, so I'm not going to save the changes I've made. And like I said, you'll get all the information you need. So uh, once you log in, you'll be able to see everything like your character and everything like that. So I'm going to log in with Twitch and uh, just go to my default screen here. So you'll have a URL that corresponds to your name. And I'm just going to bring everything to the forefront and create a new character just to kind of show you how all of this works. So there will go, I'll make a sorceress, call it Spork. And then boom, we're done. Um, everything that is happening in my game is syncing with Diablo interface and I can go to my personal page and see my character here. Uh, everything that basically happens in terms of the changes that you make to your character in terms of getting new gear, changing your stats, will all be reflected here. And it's a great way to show your uh, audience on stream kind of what you're doing and uh, give them a, a way to interact with what's going on. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically all you need to know for that. Um, if you have any questions, uh, definitely drop by my stream if you want. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash deathclock1637. I'll leave all the URLs in the description. Um, yeah, so happy speedrunning, have fun, and good luck. Peace out.